Andres Wolf from Tesla Owners US and today we are going to a place where the boss of that company almost would have been the boss of Tesla as a CEO and we are looking at one of their cars it's the and you guess it we will see it after the intro hear the birds and see the sun side by side our fears are done all the good times just begun um we know what we have let's hold on tight found what we're looking for in life at Kirland as the ID4 test drive and that's what we're going to see there are the foil cars probably the uh, special edition and we're going to look at that car and we're going to test drive it as well and see what's coming out of that let me give you some nice pictures of the car I'm going around the car they're coming with a charger here as well that's a foil what my wife likes this is the network a little sparsely but we find out when they if they extend it just CCS charging that's a regular and J7072 yeah that's okay that's manufacturer license plate and we're gonna see they're gonna have some questions here about that Excellent. Okay, we are here, and uh, our friend, what is your name? Scott. Scott. Scott is here, and he is explaining us a little bit about the car. And I will not film him because he asked us not to film him, but. We're gonna have some uh, nice uh, uh, things about the car. This is probably the first edition ID4. Is that yep, correct? Yep, this is the first edition. Yes. By distinguished by the uh, logo yes. on the uh, and panel and the white interior accents. You know what the most of the question is? What's the range, right, of the car? Most people ask how much it is. <laughs> no, the range uh, at time of press. Is 250 miles. 250 on miles. A full charge, obviously. That and that's on according to uh, the initial publication. So, according to what standard? According to the US standards or according to what? Uh, that's standards? according to uh, Volkswagen at the moment until the EPA, yeah. uh, not the EPA, the NTSA comes and. Um, so, there's not EPA standard yet, right? So, it is probably well, the WTF. NTSA. For NTSA the, standard. The EPA, yeah. So, it's probably going kind of can, can connect about disconnect about 20% of that to go to an EPA It may range. be different, you know. So, okay, good. It has aluminium forged wheels, is that correct? That is part of the uh, gradient package. The gradient package. The, uh, the, car, the car is foiled, right? Is that correct? This or? is a wrap just for so, the yeah, event. That's a wrap for the event. So this one is actually yeah. the uh, blue interior. Oh, so, is that standard interior? Or is that, that, that is leather? That is standard on the on the, the on first this edition, yes, and will be standard on the Pro S. On the Pro S as well. Yeah, Pro S, as in Pro State. So and the how much how much uh, usable kilowatt does that car has uh, uh, in, a, in a package? Battery pack is 82. Kilowatt. 82 kilowatt. It's a battery pack. How much is that usable? That they did not tell us. Then it did not tell us. Okay, that's Obviously, probably you probably can deduct about. Don't let it go to fully empty. Yeah, yeah, and fully. Go to all the way full. To 100%, so and but when you charge it, it'll say 100%. So what? What's the max charge rate on that? Volkswagen recommends that you charge the vehicle to 80 percent. Yes. So you can override it as an to owner yeah. No. What? What is the what is the max charge rate on the CCS charger? Do you know that? It will accept uh, up to 50 kilowatts. Accepts, but it doesn't charge 350 kilowatts. No, it much, depends huh? on the state of charge, the temperature outside. Yeah, yeah. No, what's the, the max part? charge rate? What's the max charge rate we could could reach? 150 kilowatts. Up kilowatt. to 350. Up to 350. Yeah. So then is but that? But it will slow so down. So that means. Quick, so that is that means the, that is this is a 900 volt system or 800 volt system or it's the 400 volt system. That 
I would have to double check on. Yeah, we'll check. We're going to ask you after that. And uh, that is comes standard with the CCS charger, right? And uh, so two prongs. standard with a uh, yeah. level one. So is there any uh, free capabilities? So basically you give the first year free charging or something like with that? With a purchase of an ID4, you get three years free charging unlimited with Electrify America. With Electrify America on their network, right? So how many charging stations you have so far in Electrify America? Electrify America, last time I checked uh, the uh, amount was around 2,000 nationwide. 2,000? Two, two, two Charging stations. Char they outlets, right? No, basically. Charging stations. stations. Yeah. But some how many locations? Two, some have four, some have okay, six, some good. have eight. Yes. Okay. But there is over 2,000 so, locations. And it's probably that it comes with an app as well so that I can control yep. a Electrify lot of America things. Electrify America app, you can yeah. download that. And then there is an app also for the car, probably how to control the, the charge. The navigation will automatically, if the points of interest, the POI on the factory nav yeah. is set, for yes. the uh, charging stations to be shown, they will automatically be shown which charging stations are uh, uh, can charge the ID4. Yes. So, okay, so good. The Tesla charging stations will not show up on the factory. I know because it's a different standard. Correct. Okay, good. Uh, that's currently 84% charged. You are mm -hmm. charging more than what you uh, what you for recommend. For this event, yes. For we this never event. know what the day is going to bring, how many yeah. test drives we're going to okay. have, how many people sit in here and put the air conditioning on. Yes, yes, yes. So, so is that charger currently plugged in or is that, that for is sure? That is plugged in for demonstration purposes. For demonstration. But Basically, I it's not charging. But I did plug in the level one overnight. Yes. The These lights for the plug went off at midnight. So I started at 69% and came in this morning yeah. at 84. Okay. Is it? Does it come with a portable charger? Uh, yep. Also? In the back there. Yeah. Let's look at that. <laughs> so that so the level one charger comes with the vehicle. Yeah. That's the 120 volt level one charger. Correct. Cannot cannot charge 240, right? No, no, Is that it correct? can. But you can. have to get the actual charger. You have to purchase that separately. There's a new charger and another charger what I have to purchase them. Yeah. So basically it comes with a one. Like any, basically that's a that's an emergency to... charger basically, okay. right? So the 240 volt I cannot charge with that, right? So on a on not a this, on not a dryer outlet one. or so. Not with this one. That's the one. Okay. Level one. The level two would look something like this. Yes. But the same. I have three of them at my home. Oh, okay. That's okay. Good. And then you can flip that over. Is there yep. a lower compartment here as well? There certainly is. Yes. And then and is then there a lower under this? Yeah. Okay. So Good. you have the inflator kit. And this is an inflator kit? So there's yeah. no spare tire. Is there a, a possibility for a trailer hitch? Yeah. On the first yes. position it is standard. Yes. All wheel drive on the future. Uh, what's line. the towing capacity? On the rear wheel drive first edition you are twenty two hundred pounds with a braked trailer. With the brake trailer. So the trailer has to have brakes. Yeah. With the all wheel drive you're twenty seven hundred pounds with a brake trailer. Okay, twenty seven hundred pounds. With the all wheel drive. Yes. Which is out okay, in October. It, it, so in comparison to a Model Y, Model Y is thirty five hundred pounds, Model X is 5,000 pounds. Okay, good. Hey, this looks awesome. And then you also have a pass-through if you want to put your skis in there and yes, yes. take some people in the back seat as well. Yeah, good idea. Good idea. Yeah, so the cost of the rear wheel yeah. is Looks nice, okay. That could be a little bit adjusted. Yeah. So just sanitizing your car, you got to be real quick. Okay, will you step, will you step in? Okay. Let's, let's test, let's test. Can we test drive it now? So, so Not this one. It'll be this one, they're just sanitizing the car and we'll get you in in about one minute. All right, excellent. Yeah. excellent. yeah, you foil, what is the original color of that car? If you open up the door, you'll see. This one is actually the blue, which is available when you get a Pro S. Oh, ah, that blue. Primary. Okay. So there is definitely plenty and of this, charging stations, just not this one. This yeah. is a, for the first okay. edition only. Yeah, that white one is for yeah, first the edition the white accents. Only. Yeah. Okay. Is there a 
it's probably USB charging in the middle. USB C. Uh, USB C. Yeah. Yeah. There's no USB. So for the back, no, is there, is yeah, there a charging? Two in the back. In the back also. Two charging. Two in connectors the back. On, two connectors back. And the two in the front are charge and data. Yes. We're ready when you guys are. The car's ready. Right, car's ready? Yep. Okay, let's go. Can you be on camera or not? Or do you want to be on camera or not? Uh, it's fine. Sure, no problem. Okay, good. Yeah, thank you for asking. Your colleague didn't want to be on camera. Oh, no worries. So, uh, you can uh, jump in the driver's seat. I mean, is this just for you or is this going somewhere? This is a uh, YouTube channel. Oh, I probably can't for YouTube channel. Obviously. Okay, good. Yeah, sorry. All right, this is okay. Uh, but so. I'll let you go ahead and you can just squeeze the door handle and we just let you open it since it's, uh, it's been sanitized. Yes. So there you go. So they're, uh, Okay. okay. And those that squeeze together as opposed to being a part that lifts yeah. out to make it a little Oh, there are perforated seats. Perforated seats, yep. And is there air conditioning in that seat? There's not, no. no. Uh, so they're, they're heated, okay. but not, not It makes cool. sense if you have it perforated that there are air conditioning. I know, yeah. There. Just for, it still gives a little more breathing. Does, breathe little does this have a, a heating on yep, the steering yep, wheel? Yep, that'll be standard. The yeah. steering wheel is heated, yep. Okay. Yep. Looks awesome. Someone forgot his phone. Uh, we'll actually use that for the navigation that we'll have you do. So, yep. <laughs> Thanks for right. up. Hey, you can go ahead and get in. Okay. Yeah, seat adjustments are all on the side. My, my wife is stepping in the back. Oh, of course, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I didn't, I didn't see it back there. Is the hidden line? Is the hidden line? Or the phone line? Well, I don't care. You, you don't drive with us, right? So we right. drove both together. Right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you can sit up. Oh, she, yes. she can sit up in the front. Yep. She, yep. she was that's thinking so that I you guys drive yeah. with us. No, because of COVID. Is that, we might have child safety lock on. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> now you're okay. <laughs> so are you, uh, are you from Volkswagen or are you from a marketing company? Marketing company. Marketing huh? company, yeah. that's what I figured. Yeah. Okay, good. So, yeah, then let's come in. You know that your boss, did I tell you that? Yeah. That's your boss, almost got the boss of Tesla in 2015. Oh yeah. He, he had a full contract, yeah. Crazy, I, I heard a little something about that. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> All right. Good. Um, seat adjustments oh, are all on the side of the seat for both of you. That long bar that goes forward and backward will That's also go up yeah. and down if you want to be higher in your seat or lower in your A drive mode that drives like a normal gas car that just coasts, and then it'll have a B mode that does regeneration. Um, yeah. it, it will not be as you know as it's much strong. regeneration as, as you what, what, what you're used you to, too? so you'll yeah. still use the brake pads to stop. It's not a true one-pedal driving. Okay? Yeah. Um, I'm going to go ahead and close the door so you can get mirror adjustments and then we'll go through the, the different driving modes shifting. Um, so if you rotate this to the left, the L will light up. And from here, you can just go forward, backwards, side to side to adjust this mirror. Like a little joystick. Oh, is that on? Oh, I'm sorry, you know, I didn't have you turn the car on. Go ahead and put your foot on the brake. Sorry about that. Oh, that's how I turn the car on? Yeah. This is yep. like Tesla. So, they copied that. Yep. <laughs> so choose from a picture of a car to zero mile per hour. Yeah. yeah. And you should be able to adjust that mirror now, however you want it to be comfortable. Yes. Okay, and, and then, then the right the rotation, side. rotation, yeah, uh, so... Actually, oh. let me show you real quick. So this one is in power folding mirrors right now. If we just rotate it like that, now you're in right. Okay. To to I, I was too quick. For yep. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Okay. Very good. Um, so we have D for drive mode and then B for regenerative braking mode. Um, D is going to feel like you're just in a regular gas car where it coasts when you lift off the accelerator the vast majority of the time. I haven't driven in gas cars in the last 10 years. <laughs> you still remember so, what it's like, right? So, uh, <laughs> um, B, B mode will be more what you're used to. That's just why I yeah, just want to explain so then, that's, the let's put the, B, B, let's put the B yep. on. Cool. So let's, and R is for reverse and neutral, right? Yep, exactly. Yes. So if it's okay with you, with your foot on the brake, if yes. you rotate the top of this forward, so rotate the top of that piece like that. There you go, you're in drive, and a second time it puts you in B. Mm -hmm. A third time it brings you back to drive. And then a reverse twist is just for your neutral or reverse. You can do a small one to go to neutral or a big one to go to reverse. There's a button on the end of that shifting stock uh, right here, and that'll yeah. put you in park. Bon park. That's the same way like uh, uh, with uh, this one as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if good. You don't mind putting it in park while we talk? Yes. Perfect, appreciate it's that. It's safe. Thank you, yep, yeah, keep it safe. <laughs> yeah. Um, and because we shifted through the gears and didn't move the car, it shut the car off. So if you just press your foot on the brake one more time. And then it's car uh, turns on again. Yep. Okay. Yeah. 
one thing I'll show you that a lot of people really like, of course you have the big glass roof, but if you want to shut the shade, in between the two lights, if you swipe your finger forward in that cutout. You get this one? Yeah, just swipe forward right there. There you go. So that whole shade will start covering, you know, if it gets, gets too sunny or whatever, okay. you can close that. If you swipe yeah. back, it'll stop at any point. Uh, but okay. You're welcome to keep it open. I just wanted to show you we have the shade because a lot of people really like that. That's pretty cool. Actually. A pretty yeah, that's a, a nice yeah. function. Yeah. 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 Okay, so what? the yeah. infotainment, this is our main menu screen. Yeah. Uh, it happens to be blue right now because we have the ambient lighting on blue. Yeah. So if you press the ambient light button bottom right, there we go. It's hard to see the actual ambient light because it's daytime, but that will adjust the one that comes through the dash, and then yeah. there's a bottom one that'll be what comes through the doors and foot wells. So probably that's so probably purple, more the purple. colors. There we go. The colors of my wife. Yeah, I like, <laughs> you like it. Nice. And okay. if you press this, this purple one? square, yep, you'll see the entire interface turns to purple as well. So that yeah. follows what the ambient lighting is through the dash there, and it's, you can see, maybe you can't okay. see very well because it's daylight. Is that a remote upgradable uh, with Wi-Fi when I need an updated sort of software version on that? It's, I mean, they, they can push software updates. They can so push software updates, yes, 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 yes. yes. Okay, good. Yep. Um, so we'll use Apple CarPlay with your Apple people or? Android? Yes. Okay, yeah. so it comes standard with Apple CarPlay, either plugged in or the wireless version. Yeah. Uh, the very front of that open compartment it is, is a wireless charger as well. Yeah, what that is USB-C and then there are two USB-C's here in the back as well. Exactly, yeah, so two USB-C's with the data in the front, two charging only in the back. That's the key, that's the stun nut for the one key. Yep. So it be basically it's a key fob, right? Right, it's a key fob, yep. yeah. Okay, exactly. can I open it on my phone as well later? I'll open the cars, put it to drive in my phone, and so um, if you have an app for so, that. So you still have to use the key fob. There are certain things you can do with the VW app, but you do still need to use the key fob to actually start to the car. To start the car. Yep. So I need to, I, I cannot just, just use my phone. Right. Okay, mm -hmm. good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we'll use Apple CarPlay for this. If you hand me that phone, I'm just going to reset the route in here for you. Oh, this is the route that I should drive, yeah? Yeah, this is the route that will have you drive. It'll be un under Apple CarPlay. Um, this will not be like Apple Maps or Google Maps or Volkswagen Navigation. It's a third-party app that is designed to do That's a fast. route from this specific location. Um, so it won't actually have turn-by-turn -turn navigation audible. You'll be able to see it on the screen, but you'll just have to kind of keep your eye on it. Yeah. You can set that back wherever it's comfortable. And if you press Apple CarPlay in the bottom left, and then ID4 of these three squares are the last three that we use. ID4 is the top of those. Yeah, that's right. Uh -huh. So this will be the route, and if you press begin route, that'll pull up, look a little bit more like... Like, that's a navigation. navigation. Yep. Yeah. Um, so you'll start out heading this direction. Yes. And, and it'll catch up pretty quickly. You know, after you get going, it'll look like a normal navigation. But then I'll have to... Seatbelt, yes, out. definitely. Um, I'm going to show you real quick, too, a couple things yeah. on here. If you want to adjust the temperature, you have drivers, cooler, warmer right here. Yeah. Passenger over there. Uh, the back seat gets whatever the driver sets theirs at. Yeah. Also, this purple square here yeah. is your home screen. There will always either be a square or a circle with the X there. So if you get on a different screen and you want to go back to the home screen, press that either once or twice. It'll get back to that main menu and you're in Apple CarPlay. So if you get off on something else and you want to get back to the map, just either press that once or twice and click the Apple CarPlay when it gets to that main menu. Oh, okay. That awesome. makes sense? So that, is, that belongs to uh, first edition, right? That this one, the whole edition. white package there. Correct, yes. yes. So, uh, and first edition price is? Uh, first edition price is just under 44. Under 44. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, is that does it include already the seven and a half thousand dollar federal tax that, credit? That's before the federal tax. Before credit. the federal tax yep. credit. Yeah. And the first okay. edition is is sold out. Just see. And it's the federal tax credit with the uh, right now seven thousand five hundred. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Because they haven't yep. sold uh, two hundred thousand cars yet. Yep. Once it gets more. Two hundred. Yeah. yeah. But do you know? Do you don't know how many cars you sold yet? I don't know. It's not a yeah. ton. The only electric we had before this was the E Golf, and it didn't really sell yeah. that, that many vehicles. So yeah. I don't know the number, but we're we're still fairly low in that. Okay. No, not yet. So what you need to know, they didn't tell me, is by default, 
it doesn't do regenerative braking until you hit the brake pedal. So if you want to put it in one touch driving mode, you put it in drive twice. So D the, the to B. B mode that D to B, yes, yes, yes. Did they tell you that? No, they told me that to B, you have to go to B, but yeah. when you take the foot off the pedal, does it already break? Or, or? Not in the regular in, drive in mode. In B mode. Not, yeah, not in the regular stop. drive mode. No, so okay. I come up to that stop sign there, I'm like, expecting it, took my front brake, expecting it to slow down. I'm like, what? Well, it's still going. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's, yeah, so it's in the, the, I guess the part of the, the drive that... Can you change the default to almost B in B? Because I would never use B. Yeah, we never. can't. The, this was designed, and I, I know you want to just drive in B and that's totally fine, but this was designed that when you apply the brakes, you know, if it's not an emergency situation, it's going to do regenerative braking first, yeah. and, and then, you know, brake pads after if necessary. Um, so it's designed so you can coast still and keep that forward momentum and still get the benefits of regenerative braking in that drive mode. Um, yeah. If you want to in drive. So that's the reason to have a regular drive mode instead of just a B mode. Um, but no, to answer your question, you do have to do that double click forward. But I have to say, right it's an attractive price, it's 44. Yeah, yeah. For Minus sure. 7,500 mm -hmm. tax. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. That's a good price. Yeah. Okay, good. Any questions before no. we let you go? Let's go. All right, so backwards twist to the opposite. Okay, then kannst du mich auch nehmen. Ja? Kannst du mich mal mit aufnehmen? Ja, du, pass erst mal auf. Ja, ja nice, ne? <lacht> I should get one. Okay. <lacht> yep. So, good guys, let's start. Here is the stop sign and then we start from here. Do they do any navigation for that or not? Here is the navigation, yes. So they give us a, perf uh, a predefined route. Uh, with their Apple CarPlay with another phone there, what they run on. And he's turning right. Okay. So, regenerative braking is uh, medium, about. And here's the blinker. Now let's turn right. We can turn right here. Yes. Yeah, it drives smooth, it drives steady, like very solid, let me say it like that, right? Oh? Huh? Mm. You want a test drive as well? No. No. Okay. So, yeah, and they have us turn left here. Let's do a left turn, not yet. I think in 830 feet, uh, it is creeping forward. Yeah, then I have, have to ask if I can turn it off. I hate that creep forward. It's like behaving like an automatic. I always turn it off. I don't even know if Tesla still have that active. So you have to keep the foot on the brake. It's not automatically braking. So if I do let the foot loose, uh, it will start driving again. So from the whole workmanship here, it looks very solid. So, also from here, yeah, gonna turn left here. And go on the left lane. Okay, let's continue. We had a little interruption and now we continue our drive. So, I think the car drives pretty solid, pretty fast as well. Speed limit was exceeded, it shows that, it shows the speed like in a Tesla how much you can drive here. It shows the, the speed for that. Uh, return energy braking is not so big, really. So now we're gonna drive back here.
the end of the drive and uh, it's it's solid car for that price target $44,000 minus $7,500 federal tax credit I think it's the big competitor for Tesla and they have to watch out so thumbs up and talk to you next time ciao ciao